Hello everybody, welcome back to The Limit of Atesian and our Season 4 of our F3 Championship. This is Round 1 into Lagos and the Sprint Race with the reverse grid for the top 12 finishes of the last race. My name is Gareth, joining me once again in commentary is Jules. Jules, how are you? Very good, thanks. Looking forward to seeing how the uh, inverted grid here works. This is very exciting indeed. So, as you can see, the Oliver Walker won our feature race with Gavin Kelly in second and Josh Ganemuth in third. James Garlick in fourth and Merrin Hugovin in fifth. Roberto Costa sixth. Seventh was Winslade. Eighth was Weaver. Ninth was Santana. Tenth was Jason Weaver. Eleventh was Jason Larson. That means Chris White in twelfth will be on pole for this race. And Chris yes, Forrester, he will indeed. Chris Forrester, the ledge line, uh, Miller, etc., will be stuck down the back where they finished. There's no pit on this one, is that right? That's no right. ten minutes sprint. Yep. Here we Let go it. then. Forrester can't hear you, Gareth. I know, I just uh, <laughs> can't help replying. Just being helpful. <laughs> yeah. Here's the lights then, and we get ready to see how this sprint race goes. Let's hope it's a little less eventful than our GT3 ones. The lights are red. Green lights, we're racing. And who's had a good start and who hasn't? We see someone's That's had a an awful Jägermeister start. In the wall, Jägermeister, though, and he's just hit uh, Hugovin, or I assume. So, Chris White in the lead as they go through turn one. That's uh, Larson in second. Oh no, Roberto Costa's round. That's Kelly. We see uh, an ETM was off. That's a. <laughs> oh. It's a Power so, Ranger sneaking through there. Yeah, that was, uh, that was Wee Jake Weaver. So, Chris White in the lead then. In second is Larson. Third is Walker. He's had a tremendous start. That's Chris Forrest. That's David Lyne. Look. Yeah, tremendous so. start. David Lyne from 15th is up to 4th. What an amazing start that is. There's Kelly and Winslade then. And where are they running at the moment? Eighth and ninth. A good start from White and Larson, who are in pole and second. In fact, they're actually scrapping. Yeah, and that's Larson taking the lead of the race then. But, wow. White steaming back through on the outside. Let's hope we stay with this one. But look at that. There's, that's Oliver Walker from 12th on the grid then he's up and going round the outside of White to take second place Larson ahead as they come up to Young Sal he's wow, going Walker. for the double really isn't he here yeah Walker is full of confidence on this opening lap here he comes in the slipstream then and that was line in the slipstream of White they say when you get your first win it opens the floodgates absolutely yeah he's on the outside and Looks like he's going to be through. Meanwhile behind, that's Line then stealing the position off White. So White's been deposed off the podium. Larson's defended into turn one though. Very nicely done there indeed. But Line is the danger man for, well, for everyone I suppose, as well as Walker. You can tell the difference between the A-team the car and the CC Racing by the, the red on the exhaust pipe of the CC Racing and the red flashes in the wing. Oh no, Larson's dropped it. Oh, calamity there for Jason Larson who is leading this race. It's a shame. Caught Struck. out by the corner, they got so many drivers last race. Yeah, but hopefully that's uh, that could be promising for him for uh, future sprint races this season though. Keep your chin up, Jason. We're looking at the ledge then in his uh, very gold MMPR car. He's running in fifth and that's uh, Forrester in the other CC car behind him. Running White... the uh, ledge design livery of course. Yeah, lots of ledge liveries in the... Look at that then, Winslade attacking Garlic then is in seventh and eighth places. So come through the middle of the track and up to Young Sal. Looks like Forrester's in the wheel tracks of the ledge and Winslade is attacking Garlic going to the outside already, not even wasting time waiting for the slipstream. That's his teammate behind him then in ninth place. Now he's going into the slipstream, probably did need it. Well, there's a lot of battles going on here as they come up to turn one. Forrester diving to the inside of the ledge. Garlic's just let Winslow through. Oh no, Forrester and the ledge have just collided. That's a shame. The ledge facing the wrong way then replay of the start then so keep an eye on the Jägermeister car there it is Santana oh so he got sideways and then a 
tried to get on the power and it nosed him sideways and into the This is, uh, oh no, so uh, Garlic blinking out of existence slightly, which uh, caught out Namath, which collected Weaver. And there's Costa having his own spin as well, and Jason Weaver as well, so both Weavers caught out in that turn of garbage. You know, looking at Jason Weaver, oof, just looking up and sideways he goes. Just so chilling, just chilling on the grass start. there. Well, sensible to wait though. Don't want to get a uh, penalty for an unsafe rejoin. Absolutely not. Meanwhile, then Chris Forrester versus Winslade. This is the battle for fifth place. Then on board of Winslade, so coming to Young Sal is uh, obviously keen to get the move done. Yeah, absolutely. He's in a hurry. He's in a hurry. But I think. Uh, I think he knows that he made a mistake at the start and he could have been further up the grid. Meanwhile, Line, fastest lap of the race then. Walker in the lead. We didn't quite see the move on... Oh no, we did see the move, didn't we? That was when Larson dropped it. So, uh, which did promote Ollie Walker into the lead of the race and looking potentially at the double. Who's that getting it wrong? James Scarlett getting it wrong in the centre S then. Yeah, he almost came to a stop there. Must have unsettled the car. Yeah. Sometimes it is better just to slam on the anchors and slow the car down. Here's uh, Winslade sacking Forrester then. He's done it. He's so gone Forrester, wide. Forrester fighting back on the inside. Yeah, you're right. Forrester's just done him back again. This is an exciting race then. Look at that. Forrester up 10 places from the starting place. Um, yeah, no, I think the, the graphics still remember the grid from the first race. But yeah, he would have. He's up 10 uh, places from where he qualified originally so that's oh, good I see, yes. yeah yeah wasn't he third he was 13 from the grid wasn't he he was the first of the cars not to get the reverse that's right even so then they're still up eight places so it's still a, a tremendous effort wow Winslow they attacking into young Sal that is not an overtaking place I think he's a bit impatient there I think he should have followed him don't you think I think than, so, yeah. Because yeah, he would have got an amazing run out in the back corner. Maybe he thought he was Hamilton on the block. <laughs> Maybe. Wow, look at that lead. line. is right on the back of Ollie Walker then. These two are really showing themselves to be standout performers this race. Kelly in third as well, but not up to his uh, ultimate pace from the previous race. Ollie does not like that DRS side. He keeps driving through it. He might get caught out if they change it and so that it's collided away. It'll be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's in one of our races. <laughs> James Garlic then closing in on Roberto Costa in his uh, awesome uh, home tribute livery. I do love seeing that car. It does remind me of uh, Felipe Massa. Which year was it he was running that? Uh, his race suit like that. Winslade on Forrester then. Again, this is into turns five and six, isn't it? Winslade's on the outside. Can he get the move done? Oh, Forrest has dropped it. Oh, that's... Ow! No! Oh, dear. So Forrester went round, and that was just name of going in and losing his front wing. There it is. Uh, oh, well, there he, he had lost it. He kept it, but <laughs> now he's dropped it. Hugged it oh, like his granny, shame. but he's let it go now. And who's that going around? Oh, no, it's Roberto Costa. That's unfortunate. Getting it. Is he towing? That looks yes. That's such a shame. He was showing quite well. He was battling with James Garlic, so he was up in 10th place, wasn't he? So yeah. So this is yeah. a sprint race. Oliver Walker now, new fastest lap, 129.2. Line's most recent lap at 129.6. Kelly's now getting into the 29s as well. Here he comes. And Winslet's in the 29s as well. I'm just watching this tower. So Walker continually defending then as they come onto this long straight down to turn four. Here's Merrin Hugerbin then in 14th place. I he was the he was the car that got collide, collected by Santana at the start, wasn't he? He's back. He was, Keith, yeah. Keith schooling. Very and bad luck for him because obviously in the GT3 race. Uh, he uh, got collided with he collided with Miller after Miller made a mistake and sat on the curb, uh, and he was unsighted and just went straight into him, no fault of his own. And then later he also got collected by Cakebread as he was trying to recover to the pits. 
It did so, indeed. Meanwhile, James Garlick then just opposing Chris Forrester for eighth place. That was a nice move. Yeah, he's running a bit slowly. I wonder if he's got damage. He's dropping back. Well, he did get collected by. Clyde That's true. Yeah. yeah, although he's kept his ring at least. And it looks like Namath hasn't pitted, which you know, with only three laps to go, he probably can get by without a front wing. Yeah, make his car a little alarming to drive. That's probably the right thing to do. Here comes Walker and Line then. Line's personal best for Line and Kelly. Well, wow, Kelly's one is only a tenth off of uh, Walker's fastest lap of the race, so he's yeah. really starting to get the hammer down now. But with four, four seconds back, it's probably a little too little too late, isn't it? I don't think he's going to get a sniff unless these two collide. But you know, it's always good to practice your pace. Yeah, well, that would be a delightful uh, gift of a, a win that, should that happen. So here come our leaders: Oliver Walker in the Rumble Bees, David Lyon in the A Team. There's just a few seconds left of this race, so is it uh, 10 minutes plus a lap, or will this be the final lap? I believe this will be the final lap. Wow, so oops. where are they then? Just coming up to that's the duck's beak, isn't it? So there's only a couple of corners left in this race. Heading through Miguelo and up to Young Sal. Kelly nearly did it last race. What can Lime do? We're on board with line now. He's in the slipstream. Here we go towards the line. Less than two tenths are in it. Oh, he's got a really good run. This is close. This is very close indeed. He's gone to the outside. He's done it. David Line has just won the sprint race from 15th on the grid. Oh, unlucky Ollie. <laughs> Four thousand. No, the second point two out two on the line. Ah. Oh. He did, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, I thought that you had close. that. Well done, Dave. Look at that, then. Winslade nearly deposed Chris White at the end. Just two tenths. The great between start, though, Ollie. That's you leading the championship. Wanted two out of two, though. Not good enough. Oh, oh, dear. Dear. He's disappointed he didn't get a, a win. You want another one already? Yeah, that was the chance. Well, I reckon you can have a lot more. Yeah. So David Lyon... The testing in Okiyama showed that and it's followed through to this race. Yeah, Kelly agreeing with me then. Well, David Drivers Lyon, are very chatty this uh, race, aren't they? They are. <laughs> David Lyon wins the sprint race with, from 15th on the grid from Oliver Walker, who's narrowly denied his uh, double there. Gavin Kelly coming home for his second podium from two. Chris White was in fourth, Winslow was in fifth. Just sure from sixth. Sure. Seventh was Larson. Eighth was Garlic. Cut away again, but let's take a look at the championship standings then. Oh, looking at chat. Sorry, that's the sprint race results again. Oh, they can finish it. Chris Forrester in ninth, Lawrence Owen Jenkins in tenth, Weaver and then Weaver, eleventh and twelfth, Hookov in thirteenth, fourteenth, Schooling, Costa was in fifteenth, sixteenth for Santana, and seventeenth Miller, who did not start. Yeah, um, it's a shame that Miller didn't start that because considering what line got from 15th, Miller could have got something from 17th, couldn't he? He's going to be kicking himself, yeah. Championship standings then. Oliver Walker confirmed as being the championship leader by 10 points from Gavin Kelly in second. Josh Ganema from third in the championship and only 20 points behind, which is not a lot with these new uh, points scoring system. James Garlick's in fourth, Merrin Hugovin's in fifth, sixth is, in, is Roberto Costa, seventh is Jake Weaver, eighth is Winslade, ninth is David Lyon, tenth is Larson. And in the championship standings, then the ETM in the lead from the Rumble Bees, Otto Moat Eatsport slipping to third, fourth is Stupid Aguri, fifth is Williams, sixth is Jägermeister, seventh is CC Racing, and eighth is MPR. MMPR, sorry. Ninth is the A team. Tenth is Shelf Tour, Kairos Competition, Little and Large, LB Racing, Rabbit Hole Motorsports, and QRS. So a few teams there that didn't actually feature in this race, but will be back at Barcelona, no doubt. Yeah, no doubt. Hopefully they'll all there and get on the board. Um, looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. What a cracking pair of races that was then at Interlagos to get season four underway. Just makes me really excited for this next season ahead. 
And as a reminder, you can find us at limitofadhesion.com, facebook.com slash limitofadhesion. Don't forget to like and subscribe the videos. Come say hi to us on YouTube. Jules, what were your standout moments from that racing? Well, I think the two finishes, uh, if you're going to go back that far, uh, the finish, yeah, it's yeah. so close. What a, what, a, what a run he got. <laughs>